So we are hampered by the fact that we've got half the Everglades that we had before. So the sponge yeah, is, smaller. Ha is smaller. And then uh, big portions of the sponge are missing. So for you know oh, yeah, this so, whole, yeah. all that storage, yeah. it used to be stored here. Right. Now it's actually, this is an area we have to squeeze out because right. we have to move water out of it. So, um, so if we, the logical thing to do just is you've, you've only been here for a few hours and you've seen, well, stop dumping water to tide and just move it south. That's right. the way it used to move. We don't have the capacity to move it all. Okay. And, um, and then the other challenge that Bob talked about is that, particularly down here, um, we have very leaky limestone. Uh, and so now we've got five and a half million people we, we really need to protect from flooding. So yeah. vast amounts of water flowing through here will flood out. Public seepage management. Seepage management, right. But we've got some public-private partnerships here, Sally, that um, with the rock mining industry that are really promising. Um, they're actually testing a subterranean seepage wall, you know, using one of these ditch witch yeah. Yeah. Uh, It's two miles long, things. it's in place. Yeah. So and we're still evaluating whether it's working. Right. But we're getting positive signals. Yeah. Great, thanks. Sorry to take you off topic right. here, but I've been wondering about that. Sure.